CPD for me at CICES um, shouldn't be in addition to anything you're doing. Like it should just be part and parcel of your career progression. It should be aligned to your objectives and what you want to actually achieve. So it shouldn't feel like a strenuous task. But aside from that, it is a responsibility as a member to ensure that your competence is up to date and to ensure that you're learning all lots of different things but to align it to your career aspirations and your progressions to make sure that you're getting the most out of it. There are so many different types of CPD. I think people um, are convinced that it needs to be like a formal webinar or formal training, but it could be workshops, it could be mentoring that you're doing or receiving, it can be learning a new language, it can be uh, writing articles for institutions like CICS or anywhere else and just joining the CICS events or any other equivalent associations. At CICES, we don't have a minimum requirement for the hours. Um, the reason for that is we want it to be not prescriptive. We want it to be widely drawn because all members at different stages of their career will have different requirements for CPD and it will look very different dependent on what stage of your career you're at. So we want to empower our members to make that decision for them and entrust them that they are carrying out enough CPD required for their careers, but also to maintain their competence.